If I was any kind of fruit, I'd be a banana uh, because people get autism crazy with bananas and I just wanna know what's going down over there. I'd be a banana. Hi, I'm Sophie Turner and I'm here with Elle to play Ask Me Anything. A few of my friends have sent in some questions, so let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> Hi, Soph. Okay, I know you're a Britney fan, so what is your absolute favorite Britney song of all time? Oh my God, we were literally just talking about Britney. Hi, Ashley. Oh my God, my favorite Britney song of all time. I think probably my prerogative is my favorite. I just, it was one that I like would make music videos to when I was younger and make up dances to, and it was just my favorite. So sexy, so great, she's just, Iconic, but also I'm a slave for you like the whole dance the whole music video for that as well I mean that I could name a million, but she's um, Yeah She's a queen. Did I ever dress up as Britney? I don't think I ever Tried to dress up as her. I dressed up as Anastasia a lot like those tinted like sunglasses with the frameless sunnies, you know um, Yeah, I did Anastasia a lot, but I never I would never attempt to do Britney. I just could, I can't fill those shoes So last Halloween I dressed up as um, Isabella from the Lizzie McGuire movie um, With Joe and my friend Liv she did Hillary or Lizzie Joe was Paolo and I was Isabella I, I love Hillary Duff so much and that um, I mean, I love Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire was like my thing. The movie was so great. And um, I think it came about because Joe, Joe's hair had grown out so long. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you look like Paolo if you put it the right way. And then my friend Liv was um, coming to LA with us like to this party. And we were like, well, what are we gonna go as? She's blonde, I was darker. Joe looks like Paolo, it just made sense. And then um, Hillary, commenting on it was just the icing on the cake. The early 2000s trend I would like to bring back. Low rise jeans are already back and I think like, it looks really cool on some people but it's also criminal on others. And I think on me it's a little bit criminal. I do have a Tamagotchi still. I like got another one for my birthday and so that is a trend that I 100% would bring back. I just, I'm just sad I can't like match make with other Tamagotchi owners, you know? Just there on my own looking after my little baby. Natalie! Hi Sophie. You've had an incredible career already and from a really, really young age. Is there anything that you've learned now or that you know now that you wish somebody had told you back then? Wow, that's a great question. You look like a goddess, Natalie, by the way. I wish people had told me a lot of things. I think, I think one of the main things that people probably couldn't have told me back then because it wasn't so prevalent would be that um, to stay off social media. <laughs> I think that would be it. Or like to distance yourself from social media. I used to be like very involved in all, I had like Twitter, Instagram, like e like everything going. I started to take a step back. I like deactivated my Twitter and I, I took a step back a little bit from Instagram. I go out into the real world now, real world now and all those things that I thought people were saying about me or, or like looking at. You realize no one, no one is saying that. Maybe like 14 people on Instagram or like, you know, like even if it's 50,000 people on Instagram, that's not the real world. I had a great therapist once that said to me like, Sophie, no one really cares. Like no one, you're not that, you're not that special. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Like no one's looking at like, oh, Sophie's arms got a bit big today. You know, like no one cares. People have their own to worry about. So that would be my advice, stay off of, the socials for a bit, or at least distance yourself. I know it's hard to stay off them completely. So just have a healthy separation. <laughs> hello Elle and hello Sophie. Hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to ask you a question about when we first started dating. Oh God. If you were to take a moment and think back to the early days of us dating, if there's one funny memory that really stands out to you the most that, uh, makes you laugh every time you think about it. Uh, yeah, I actually do have one. Hi, Joe, love you. <laughs> I have one. It was literally like the first night we met. Everything was going great. We were like flirting. We were really hitting it off. And then he said, he said something that just like gave me the ick, like straight away. He was like, yeah, like, 
People tell me I look a lot like a young George Clooney, and I was like, no, you don't. You don't look at all like a young George Clooney. But then I was like, well, I look like a young boy George, so we've got the George thing going on. And uh, and then it was magic after that. We had like two, two wedding days, kind of. So our first wedding day, we had to legally get married in the States. So we just said like, well, let's just do it in Vegas. We like hired this Elvis impersonator to marry us. <laughs> we got married with ring pops and he ended up getting the ring pops out of the bin at, and the packet and like selling it on eBay and like sold like this whole story, I'm pretty sure. So that was quite funny. On our actual wedding day, just a fun fact, it was the hottest day in French history. Everyone was like fainting and sweating and it was pretty nasty. It was a smelly wedding, but it, it looked great. Hi, honey. Okay, so if you could be any type of fruit, what type of fruit would you be and why? <laughs> she looks so good. She's done it like in front of a professional backdrop. Um, hi, Alex, I love you. If I was any kind of fruit, I'd be a banana uh, because people get up to some crazy with bananas and I just want to know what's going down over there. I'd be a banana. Ooh, Colin would be, <laughs> what fruit would Colin be? Colin would be like a big, strong watermelon. He's like really big and, and like great, <laughs> just great and juicy. And he's just the best, we love Colin. <laughs> Gosh, Maisie would be um, a little kiwi. She'd be small and fluffy and cute. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I miss the most about living in the UK, there's a lot. I think I miss the sarcasm of the people. I miss like, when I first went over to the US, I think people just thought I was a really mean person and I'm not, I'm just sarcastic. And like, you know, I speak to my friends over here and they wouldn't, they wouldn't blink twice, you know? And also the chocolate. The chocolate is so much better here in the, in the UK. It's so much better. Oh. Oh, hey Sophie, we're both married to famous musicians. Now what is one thing that Joe's female fans might not want to learn about him? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a really good question, Chrissy. Um, one thing that Joe's female fans would not want to know about him. God, I don't want to like sabotage his career here. Well, I have to say, I think they'd be very happy and pleased to learn that he is an avid feminist and like very hardcore feminist. And I, I really appreciate that about him because sometimes he checks me on certain things like the internalized misogyny. He'll be like, no, 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 no. Get that out of your head. So that's quite a nice thing. I don't know. I think they'd be very pleased to find out all these different things about Joe. I don't think they'd be disappointed with anything. I've had people that, uh, we both have had people together that genuinely think that they have been, I think either they've been catfished or something, but they think that they've been talking to us and they'll like come up to us and be like, hey, like, you know, like as if they know us and respond to something that we've never said or like, yeah, like very weird things like that where I think they've probably been catfished. But I, there's a lot of weird ones. There's, you know, people shaking, people crying and things like that, but, um, I get that way around like literally any celebrity, so I don't blame them. I've had people like come up to me, especially when I was on Game of Thrones and be like, yeah, I hate you. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd call that a fan encounter. Thank you so much to all my friends and family for sending in those questions. I love you all and I will see you soon.